Hi, this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites, and today I'm going to do a video on how to show you how to add a subset or a page of collections in Shopify. I'm using the supply theme, so I've created a, uh, a demo store in the supply theme and just populated it for this example. Uh, but what's going to allow us to do is basically create a page of collections that's very editable and uh, instead of being a page with a collection on it this has several collections or a subset of collections so this one has jewelry we've got bracelets designer bracelets earrings thing and uh, several others but when you click on it it will go to the actual collection so if this is what you're looking for uh, you can do this is using the supply theme but it'll essentially work with any theme so uh, let's get started and let me show you exactly how we do this but first I'm just going to show you that on my blog at Pinehurst websites I've got a step-by-step -step, uh, with screenshots and also with the code that we're going to be using uh, so this may make it a little bit easier to um, to actually uh, just cut and paste that code but I'm going to show you specifically where I'm getting the code and what I'm doing to it as we go through the tutorial so let's get started so when we finish, you'll be able to go into your online store and customize it and create a collection like I can in the supply theme here. So um, let's just take a look. You just go to the page that you want. In this case, I, I want the, the jewelry page. And you click on this section that we have created. And now we can edit this. We can change the number of items per page or we can change or per row. And uh, we can change it for anywhere from two to five. All this will be built into it. We can change the grid or list view. Uh, so we can list it any way we want. So let's change it to a grid. And we can do all of our collections or we can just do selected collections. And we can have multiple pages. So we can have one for jewelry and then we can do another page, which is what we're gonna do for earrings. And they'll have different content. So when I do the selected, I can just go down and I can add or remove items. So say I want to take off the pearl earrings here. I just go down and I remove that content and it'll take this last one at the end off. Uh, so you can basically put anything on here you want. If I want to add something back on, I can add say uh, pearl bracelets on and then select. And now I have my new items and then I can go in and I can change the number of rows that they display. I can put five per row, or I can put three per row, depending on how many items I have. So then you can just save it the way you want it, and you have your page of collections. So let's go into the coding now. Okay, let's start with the coding. This is only gonna take a few minutes. So what we wanna do is we wanna to go to online store, then we wanna to go to actions, right next to customize, uh, it's a good idea to duplicate or back up your theme. There's a link on my blog about how to do that if you need to understand how to do that. But you can duplicate your theme. Always a good idea before you start coding. So we're going to go down to Edit Code and click on Edit Code. Okay, so this has the code for our theme. And all we want to do is we want to go in and we're going to create a new template. And we're going to hit the drop down and choose Page. And you can call this anything you want, but let's just be consistent through. For me, I'm going to call it Earring Collections. So I'm going to put Earring Dash Collections for the name. Now, over in the blog, I just put your name collections that you could put in there. And I'm just going to copy this part from my blog where it says your name collection. So you can insert your name where it says your name on all of these. So you'll see that I use earring collections on all of them. So I'm going back over to the code and I'm going to create this template. And then underneath the, uh, the pre-generated uh, page template here, I'm just going to put the cursor right past the content and hit enter. And I'm just going to paste the part where it says your name collection. So I'm going to change that to earring collections. I think it's actually going to be dash collections. And I'm going to go ahead and save that because you can the reason it's dash is because you can't have spaces in the title of a section. So I'm going to hit save there and we're 50% done with our coding. Now we're just going to go down to sections 
and click on section. It's going to open up all our sections. And in almost every theme, there is something that says list collections template. And that's what you're going to be looking for. Now, this one has a lot of great features built into it. So I'm just going to copy all of this. Hit copy. And then I'm going to go to the top of sections and add a new section. And call it hearing dash code collections. And hit create section. I'm just going to go over the schema that already exists here that's pre populated and hit paste. Now this is very important. What we need to do is we need to change the name on this. And then within this code, there's a place that says name and it's right here. But the way to find it quickly, if you can't find it, is hit control F and just type in name and then it's going to highlight it for you. So this is the part. If you didn't change this on every page where you had this template, uh, it would have the same content. So you want to create a new name every time here. And we're just going to call this Hearing Collections. Hit save and we are done with our coding. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a page and we just want to add a page for earrings unless you've already got one for your collection. And it'll be Earring Collections and then you want to choose your new template which is going to be Earring Collections. Hit save and let's just create navigation to this. Main menu and let's add a menu item. Call it earrings and let's connect it to pages and select earring collections and let's just click add. It's down here at the bottom so I'm just going to drag it up to the top right under jewelry and hit save. Now we can go in and we can edit that page. Uh, by default, let's go take a look at it. We hit Customize, navigate to the earrings page, and you'll see it has all the uh, collections that we have. So what you want to do is you want to click on earrings collection and just change that to selected, and then you can put whichever collections you want on that. So we're just going to use things that have earrings. I know I have three collections on there and I can display those any way I want to display them if I want two per row or one per row. So that's all there is to it and just hit save and then you're done. So on your page when you go to earrings there's your collection and when you go to jewelry you have your collection for collections for jewelry. So it's very simple. Uh, you can apply it to any theme. Hope this was helpful for you. You can find the code on my website. There will be links in the um, description of this video to the blog and to the code. I'm Kevin King. Thanks for tuning in to Pinehurst Website's Shopify Tutorials.